Hello, I'm Vonnie B, and welcome to Vonnie B's Homemaker Experience. As always, I am so glad that you decided to join me. Today, I will be sharing with you an easy way to make many strawberry shortcakes. That's many as in small, you know, personal size strawberry shortcakes. But if you so choose, you can make many. All right, well, so much for that. Let's go ahead and get started. Enjoy. All right, so first we're gonna take a half, about a half a pound of strawberries, and I am using frozen. They're not frozen now, but they were. And they were whole berries. I sliced them, and then they uh, put them in the refrigerator, and they uh, thawed out. Now you don't have to do it like that. That's just the way it worked out for me. So now I'm gonna take and put in a quarter cup of sugar, just to sweeten them up. And I think they're gonna be quite sweet. Maybe I won't put the full quarter cup in. All right, we can always add sugar to it if we need to sweeten it further. Okay, so now I'll just put these back in the refrigerator while I prepare the strawberry shortcakes. All right, so I've got three quarter cup of non-fat plain Greek yogurt, and to that I'm gonna add three quarter cup of milk. Now I'm using an almond milk. You can actually use whatever kind, you know, you choose. And I'm just gonna mix this up a little bit at a time. You know, you wanna start off with the Greek yogurt in the bowl and then add the milk to that. The other way I tried it, it doesn't really work as well. It's kind of hard to get it mixed in. Um, yeah, when you go the other way, it just is like really lumpy and kind of hard to mix the, get the yogurt mixed in with the milk smoothly. So all, all the milk is poured in and we've got it mixed up. All right, so for now, we're just gonna set this aside. All right, so what I have here is two cups of flour. And so to that, I'm gonna add two tablespoons of sugar, because we want it to be, have a little bit of a sweetness, not real sweet, but a little bit. And then two teaspoons of baking powder, We've got two teaspoons of baking powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, and then three quarter teaspoon of salt. And we'll just add that in. We're gonna sift all of these together. All right. I do wanna add that I have already uh, set my oven to 400 degrees Fahrenheit. And so we're preheating the oven. And actually we are once we get this sifted and then add the um, mixture of the milk and uh, yogurt together with this, it's ready to go in the pan. This is a very quick, simple, easy recipe to uh, put together this strawberry shortcake. It's easy, quick, fast. <laughs> All right, so now let's add the milk and yogurt mixture to the flour. Okay, we got a little bit there. All right, so now we'll just mix this together until it's just combined together. We're not gonna do any heavy beating with this, okay? You just want it to come together, okay? And once it comes together, we'll put it in a greased pan. Now, if you choose, if you so choose, you can, instead of using the milk and the Greek yogurt mixture, you can use a, a cup and a half of heavy whipping cream. And if you decide to use the heavy whipping cream, you will not need to grease your baking pan, okay? But since I'm using Greek yogurt and the um, almond milk, I want to make sure that um, it comes out of the pan. Okay, so that's good. So let's get the pan. All right, I'm using a nine inch pan. You, if you want to use an eight, if you have an eight and you want to use that, that'll be fine. It, it's just going to be a little bit thicker. Okay, so 
I'm gonna put some nonstick cooking spray on here. All right, let's just get this in here. All right, so then we'll just kind of spread it out. Believe it or not, this is all ready to go in the oven. And so we'll put this into a 400 degree Fahrenheit preheated oven for 18 to 20 minutes. All right, here's our uh, shortcake right out of the oven. And as you can see, it's not sticking. I don't, there it is. All right, so now we're gonna take it out the pan. It's very hot, so gotta be careful with it. There it is. I'm just gonna go ahead and flip it over very carefully. Now we'll just let this cool. All right, so while the shortcake is cooling, I'll go ahead and make the whipped cream. So what you see here is three quarter cup of heavy whipping cream, which is chilled. You wanna use a, you know cold or chilled heavy whipping cream, all right? So you're gonna start with that first in the bowl. And to that, I'm going to add vanilla extract, half a teaspoon, just put that in right now. There we go, got a half a teaspoon. And then a third cup or, or I should say a third heaping cup of powdered sugar. All right, so we've got our third heaping cup of powdered sugar. All right. All right, so we're gonna beat this at a medium high speed until a peak forms. I'm just just stopping a minute to get all the sugar it kind of down in the bowl okay scrape the bowl down check it oh yeah there it is all right so now we'll add three quarter cup of Greek yogurt to to the whipped cream and then beat it in for well about 15 seconds or so until it's you know fully mixed in all right let's get this mixed in I think that should do it. It looks good. All right, we'll just go ahead and put this in this bowl, put it in a bowl and then put it in the refrigerator until we're ready to serve it. It looks good. All right, so here is the um, shortcake and it's cooled down. And I don't know if you can see this or not, but it's got a little hump in it, okay? And I'm going to be using this little biscuit cutter to make little circles. And I think it'll work out a little bit better if I just trim this hump off of here. So I'm gonna try this. Okay. Now we'll take our biscuit cutter and cut through. Okay. Okay. All right, we want to take it out. There you go. 
we'll just set that over there for now. Then we'll do another one. Now you do you do not have to do this. You can cut it any way you want. I'm just choosing to do it this way. Okay. All right, now I realize that cutting the shortcake with the cookie cutter or biscuit cutter uh, was a little bit involved, just a bit. And so I wanted to show you that this really is a very easy, straightforward type recipe to follow and carry out. And so I made up another batch of the shortcake batter. It made it exactly the same way. The only difference is I'm gonna be using a different baking dish. And here is the dish, okay, this one. And then I'm going to make some round ones using this, okay? And so I assure you, this is gonna be a much easier process. So again, we'll spray the baking dish with the cooking spray and then we'll bake it in the oven at 400 degrees. Now the cake that we put in this baking dish probably will take about the same amount of time, 18 to 20 minutes, but the ones that we bake in here is probably gonna be a little bit shorter. We'll start with these small ones first. Scoot these over and we'll put the rest in here. Oh, I do want to get this kind of try to get it leveled out. Okay, we'll do the same for these. All right, let's go ahead and get these in the oven. So here's the shortcake, and um, what we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and get this cut. As you can see, this is gonna be a much easier process than the other one, okay? We'll just cut right on through there. All right. And then we'll turn it this way, because we're gonna get four pieces out of this, okay. All right, there you go. All right, so very simple, much easier. And we'll just slice through it so that this will give us two layers. That one's a little crooked, but it's okay. I'll do one more. Let's see if we can get this one straight. Not that it matters, okay? <laughs> I'm just gonna come around this time, do it like this, okay? See, that went much easier. Okay, all right, there we go. As you can see, as I said, it was going to be, it would be much easier to do it in this way. All right, and then here's the round one. If you really just want the round uh, of cakes, short cakes, I would suggest you either put it in the little small round uh, baking dishes or use a muffin pan, okay? And that'll work out very nicely. Okay, I'm just going to cut this. Just gonna go all the way through there. All right, there you go. So you'd have the little round one, much easier. Okay, so, and then you would just assemble it in your serving dish. Well, let's go ahead and layer the strawberries, the shortcake, and the whipped cream together. Put a little bit of berries at the bottom. Okay. And then we'll put 
put okay one layer okay then we'll put another layer on top And then we'll top it off with one final layer. I think I'm going to turn it over like that. Okay. All right, so here are our two shortcakes that we made that I made. Now I'll just put these in the refrigerator and let them sit a little while and you know give the shortcake time to absorb all those wonderful juices. So now let's get the whipped cream on our strawberry short. Oh no. Oh boy. All right, we'll get that there. And then we'll do this one. Hopefully we can get it in the bowl this time. Okay. There. That looks good. All right. Let's eat. As you can see, I have my taste tester here. And he's going to eat a strawberry shortcake and let us know how it is. All right, here we go. All right, taste tester. It's good. All right, well, once again, there you have it. He said it was all right. I it's guess tasty. I should. Oh, wait a minute. Quite tasty, moist, and delicious. <laughs> All right, there you have it. Mm -hmm. It's quite tasty, moist, and delicious. Y'all got to go. I got to finish eating. All right. All right, then well, we'll just wrap this up as my taste tester finishes up, or continues, I should say, eating his strawberry shortcake. I pray that you saw or heard something that was beneficial to you. Now, I want you to remember to click the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already done so. That's Viney B's Homemaker Experience. And share it with your family and friends. Thank you again for joining me. God bless, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.